keyword there, networking. Um, if you, I think we have like, honestly, that's really the biggest thing. Um, if, you know, LinkedIn is really big now. So if you go on LinkedIn, you can follow pharmaceutical companies. Um, if you don't know a lot about what the opportunities are in pharma, find someone who already is in pharma, reach out to them and just start asking questions. Google is also your friend. <laughs> so if you are thinking, you know, oh man, what are the opportunities in the pharmaceutical industry? Start with the website. I mean, there's pharmaceutical companies. I mean, you have Merck, I work for Sanofi, you have Pfizer, you have Bristol Myers Squibb. So you could start researching these companies, go to their websites, see the roles um, and opportunities that are available. Um, and then furthermore, reach out to other people who you know have already you know, pursued that same role or works for that company and ask them about their experience and like I said, networking is the most powerful tool because, uh, you know, if people don't know what you're interested in, they can't think of you when opportunities come up. So I would say to just continue to network and be curious. I think that's the biggest thing is if you don't know something to ask and to be curious. And that's kind of what led me, you know, down that path to even being able to get the opportunity as a medical information specialist is just kind of continuously researching and being curious. And then boom, there was an opportunity and I was able, someone thought about me and I was able to interview for it and I landed the role. So just really being curious. That's great. That's great. There's a couple of things you said in there just now that I want to like make sure people didn't just hear and let it go. Right. Mm -hmm. And the first thing is networking and like how that was able to bring to you a career change and within your own field and the power of that. Um, so yeah. do you have a connect, a network that you currently building now or that's just something that you continuously do? I continuously build my network. <laughs> um, you know, I have friends who I went to pharmacy school with who are doing big great things that I always stay connected to, always try to stay connected to. Um, but building a new network too, I think LinkedIn is a really powerful tool. Um, you know, I've actually um, had built networks through people reaching out to me, wanting to actually just meet with me. And I've learned so much from them. They were wanting to meet with me to like learn from me. And I'm like, wow, I need to add you to my network as well because you're connected in different ways as well. And I think it's nothing wrong with, you know, networking intentionally and like, you know, trying to connect with people who are different from you, because that's kind of the beauty of networking and being able to kind of explore different opportunities. So for me, um, the, to answer the question, I'm continuously building my network. Um, I think, you know, a solid foundation was started in pharmacy school, having those advocates and supports and sponsors, I mean, in, in uh, professors, you know, kind of continuing to stay in touch with, you know, the professors that kind of taught you, um, stay in touch with some of the professors who you rotate with um, some of your preceptors. That's kind of a solid foundation for a um, networking kind of opportunities, but then you continue to build that. And I think the strongest assets of a great networker is someone who continuously expands their network. So I'm always looking to expand my network for sure. And outside of uh, pharmacists as well, because, you know, we kind of have to uh, diversify. <laughs> so, so continuously expanding. Yeah. Definitely. 